In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this complete Thanksgiving dinner using only dollar store food. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pan and we're going to be making a glaze for our little luncheon meat that we're going to make taste like a ham. I realize that sounds crazy, but we're going to do the best we could, you guys. I'm going to put that on a low heat. I'm going to be taking my honey. I'm going to use the entire honey. This is the only cherries that they had at the Dollar Tree, so I'm going to be using this. That's what it looks like inside. I'm gonna taste that. I mean, it's just basic cherry. I'm gonna pour half of this in. Now I'm just gonna kinda mix this in the honey. This I had at home, and I'm just gonna be adding a spoonful of it to this, and we're just gonna mix this around. Now I'm gonna be using some pineapples. I'm gonna be saving the juice, but I'm gonna be adding just a couple pineapples in here, just for the flavor. The most important part, you guys, is cloves, which I already had some at home, and I'm just gonna be adding like a little handful of them. And this is our glaze, you guys. We're just gonna let this cook. It already smells like Thanksgiving, literally. While this simmers, I'm going to prep the hams. <laughs> <laughs> and which is our luncheon meat. So let's open this up. It's literally like Spam, which I love Spam, by the way. Get these babies out. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm stirring this. See that? And already it's starting to thicken up. We're gonna get our ham and we're just gonna cut down very little, not all the way, maybe just like an inch. We're gonna do the same on this side. So this is what it looks like where I cut it. See how it's just kind of cut down. And I'm just gonna kind of push these together, make it one. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just take some cloves and kind of just stick them everywhere. So I'm taking a bread pan and I'm putting the ham in there just because I want it to really like penetrate in this marinade, I should say. Look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness. This smells so good, you guys. Mmm. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pour this over. And that's what it's gonna look like. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop this in the preheated oven and let this baby simmer, cook. My Dollar Tree did not have stuffing, so we're gonna make it from scratch. Like, you'll see. And, and again, I hope this works. <laughs> I've never done this before, I'm just going off of physics, if that makes sense. So we're gonna take our bread and open it. Okay, and now, 
I'm gonna just take slices like this many and I'm just gonna cut them up into little squares. And then I'm just gonna put them in a really big bowl. This is the biggest bowl I have. So now that all of this is cut up, they're about this big, just in case you guys couldn't really tell. I picked up this onion dip and this is just like straight flavor. So I thought that I would use this to flavor the bread. I'm just gonna take one of these, just pour it on. Look at all that flavor. Okay, so I poured half and now I'm just gonna start mixing it. I'm gonna get the rest of the pack. I'm gonna take the biggest baking sheet I have and just pour these over. And I'm gonna to try to do my best to evenly spread them. And now I'm gonna pop these in the oven and let these babies toast up. I'm gonna be boiling water now because I'm going to be making this salad that they had. Um, it's a pasta salad and it's in ranch and bacon. I also picked up a mayo and just to give it more of a fresh like filling, I thought I would get some olives. And the reason why we're gonna make this next is because we want our salad to cool because there's nothing like a hot macaroni salad like go. This is what it looks like. And this is the packaging for the flavor. So we're gonna make the mashed potatoes. These are them. I like to put stuff in my mashed potatoes. So I have turkey bacon, which is all they sell for bacon. And I also got some cheese. I also picked up some butter and I had garlic at home and I also have milk at home. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cooking this bacon. I'm actually gonna cut it. I'm gonna start frying this. The water's ready for the pasta. I'm gonna add the pasta. So I'm gonna take my garlic, I'm gonna take the side of my knife and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add this. It smells so good. The garlic, oh, it smells amazing. And while that's all tang, we're gonna get our cheese and we're gonna ground it up. So I'm gonna be putting this aside for the mashed potatoes. I'm trying to make these potatoes taste as close to twice baked potatoes as possible. I don't even know how to open this. There we go. So instead of using water, I'm just gonna be using milk, which I already had, but the Dollar Tree does sell milk. This whole entire thing of butter, and just put it in there because we want these to be as flavorful as possible. Thanksgiving isn't about like being healthy, it's about living your best life, you know? <laughs> Not worrying about like calories or fat, you just enjoy yourself. And we're trying to make this the best we could, so using this much butter is always better. I always say. <laughs> okay, so I'm also gonna be adding salt. I would say about a tablespoon and then pepper. I like super peppery mashed potatoes. I just think they're the best. Mm. So now I'm gonna slowly start adding in the mashed potatoes. It's already thickening up. Okay, so now we're gonna add our turkey, bacon, and garlic, and our cheese. You want the cheese to be mixed up in there. Just gonna stir this baby in. You guys, this is what the mashed potatoes looks like. Like, I wish you guys can taste them. I wish you can smell them. It's crazy that this is all Dollar Tree. The salad is ready, you guys. I've already drained it and cooled it. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna be taking this little pack that the salad comes with. Wow. I'd like to thank my kids for losing all my scissors. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna pour this in there. And then this is mayo from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> How crazy is it? They have literally everything, you guys. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a scoop of it. That's 
what it's gonna look like kind of gross it's gonna look like this once you mix it now I'm gonna take some olives and just pour them in there I like a lot of olives and there's your little pasta salad. Next on our agenda, we're gonna start getting ready for the stuffing. So I am going to be using my own piece of garlic, just a little piece of garlic and onion. And then I'm also gonna be adding sausage. So this is just like Farmer John breakfast sausage, my personal favorite. It's still in the plastic. I'm just gonna slice it here. See that? So it's nice and cut, and then we're just gonna put that down and let that saute. So now it's time to check the breadcrumbs. Oh my goodness, look at that. So this is what the breadcrumbs look like. I'm gonna try and like flip them over just so we can make sure that the bottom is toasty as well. This is ready for the garlic and the onion. It's not completely ready, but it's like, pretty close to being ready. And I really want the flavors to go into the sausage. We're just gonna let this completely cook down. Well, this is cooking down. We don't wanna waste any time, so we're gonna be making a salad. I understand that pumpkin pie is a big part of Thanksgiving dinner. Trust me, like, I need pumpkin pie every time, but Dollar Tree didn't have nothing pumpkin. So just have like, I don't know, your brother bring it or your sister. <laughs> Somebody bring a pumpkin pie. But I am gonna show you guys a cheap, delicious dessert that no one ain't gonna miss a pumpkin pie, trust me. You're gonna need two cans of fruit cocktail, you're gonna need a Cool Whip, and you're also gonna need coconut shavings and marshmallows. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add this in here, and then we're gonna add some Cool Whip. It's gonna add the entire thing. Oh my God, you guys, Cool Whip. Let's mix this around. And now we're gonna take our marshmallows and we're gonna add marshmallows. And the whole bag is perfect for two cans. And just mix this around. So these are the coconut shavings and we're gonna add them in there. I'm adding half of the bag and then I'm gonna go back and see like if I want more with it. I'm not sure yet. This is literally so good, you guys. I'm sure you guys have had it. It's called Ambrosia Salad, but it's like 99 cent store version. There it is, you guys, Ambrosia Salad. We're gonna put this aside and focus on the stuffing. Those are ready. So let's put that aside. This is what I saved the pineapple juice for, you guys. I'm just gonna add this in. I'm just gonna start like mixing this in. And just kind of fold it over. Try to get that moisture everywhere as much as you can. I'm gonna take a little bit of water and just kind of add it. Not a lot, just kind of to moisturize everything. This is where it gets a little weird, you guys. I'm gonna just like sprinkle some brown sugar on top. I can't believe that this was a loaf of bread. We're gonna add some cranberries. I'm just gonna add this whole pack. I like it to be sweet. So normally I would add walnuts, you guys, but the Dollar Tree didn't have walnuts. They had party peanuts and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this. Sprinkle them on. I don't want it to be like a peanut flavor, but I want it to be a little bite in there. That's the whole bowl. Now we're gonna put everything back on here because now we gotta toast it up. Let's pop this back in the oven to get nice and crispy on top. Mmm, the ham is looking good. Babe, stop chewing. Okay guys. <laughs> That's the life of a vlogger. My husband's not allowed to chew. Okay, guys, no, but really. Um, so can I make a Thanksgiving dinner from dollar store food? I don't know, you guys tell me. So this is what the ham looks like. I mean, I'm gonna taste it right now, but I mean, it looks like one of those hams that comes in the can. And there's the mashed potatoes. I think that looks pretty good if you ask me. Cranberry sauce, our little salad. Corn, can't screw that up. And here's the stuffing. This is what I'm most impressed with, you guys, because the stuffing literally was a loaf of bread. So yeah, I'm really impressed with that. And the ambrosia salad. So let's try everything. Hello, don't mind that right there. I moved it, so this looks more presentable. <laughs> okay, guys, so the first thing we're gonna try is the corn because I wanna be safe. Perfect. And now I'm gonna try the salad. 
Okay. I'm going to try it with an olive. I love olives so much. That's why there's so many in here. It could use a little more mayo, if you ask me, but it's pretty good. It's decent for a dollar salad, like everything included. And you don't have to add the olives. It's up to you. Okay, so the next thing we're going to try is the mashed potatoes. I mean, by the way, you guys, this cheese, like, actually melted. So it's real cheese. I would make that. And I'm the kind of person who likes fresh potatoes. Like, I usually smash red potatoes. I feel like I did because, you know, you leave the skin on red potatoes. And this is the turkey bacon. And I feel like I did make red potatoes. But it's pretty good. More salt, though. Definitely. Okay. And now we're going to try the stuffing. Oh, my goodness, you guys. This looks so amazing. Wow. Look at that. It's not bad. I could taste the sausage. I probably would have added the peanuts because it does have a peanut flavor. But I like the bite, so I probably should add less. But, mmm. So if you try this recipe, if you can find walnuts at your dollar store or 99 cent store, get walnuts. That's what I recommend. Okay, I'm so nervous about this, you guys. <laughs> Okay, this is the ham. I'm like really nervous about it. Okay. It smells like Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm really nervous about this. Oh shoot, I sturdied my sweater. Okay. Okay, don't make that. That's disgusting. I couldn't even swallow it. Yeah, don't make that. Mm -mm. I was a waste of time. Uh-uh. Well, it's like everything that you have nightmares about all in one bite. Oh my God. Okay, perfect timing for the ambrosia salad, which is going to be sweet. I already know it's going to be good because the ambrosia salad, like everything was pretty much like Decent, decent brands, so I knew it was going to be good. Look at that. Ooh, that looks so good. I might finish that tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video and want to see more challenges like this, let me know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Don't forget to share this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces, dailies. Baby, you want a piece of ham? Want a piece of ham? Why? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sitting here editing and Alyssa is serving herself and she's eating and she's telling me that the ham is really good. So it could be that I just started eating meat again and it's just, you know, kind of weird to eat it out of a can. I don't know. But yeah, try the recipe. At your own risk, of course.